Lynn, <laughs> first of all, welcome back to California. Thank you. It's so great to see you. Good to be here. Yeah, nice shirt, too. Thank you. Well, we got our, our good uniforms on <laughs> for today. So, um, we'll talk about some of the other stuff that was going on a little bit later. Okay. But, but yesterday, we were sitting out there in the patio and decompressing from camp, mm -hmm. and you played through um, That'll Never Happen No More. Right. It sounded great. It was so fun to hear you play that. Yeah. You know? And I've been working on that for a couple of, couple of years. Yeah. Just yeah. on my own. Yeah. Um, play it once. Okay. And don't mind me if I mess around and, and don't let it mess you up. you put here or which part you put yeah, there. Yeah, it kind of it kind of works no matter what you do. Yeah. Um, when you're not singing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, as so I right there when I was singing it went into mm -hmm. the verse. Mm -hmm. You know, we had that one spot where oh, we had different chords. Right, we but, have to yes. But um, if either of us were playing it by ourselves and mm -hmm. did that, it would it would have been fine. Yes. You know. Okay. So um, so practicing it would have been fine, but that would have been cheating. I mean, play, <laughs> trying it together before we <laughs> before we did it with the camera running. <laughs> Right. Again, as we said at the camp the other right, day. Right, we can't do anything that no, we've actually practiced. No, no, no rehearsal allowed. So um, we'll elaborate on that in, in another right. video too. But, okay. Um, anyway, yeah. so when I heard you play this, I it, mm -hmm. I loved it, and and it sounded like you were. It seemed like you were having so much fun playing it too. And I know this is the kind of stuff you like to. You really it like is. To play. This is this is my style. This is the stuff I like. Yeah. yeah. And this progression. Mm -hmm. um, what, what can you tell me about the chords? Like, do you know why it's going to E and why it's going to A and what's happening here? I do not. Okay. I, uh, what, what I know that it's familiar, and I and and it, these progressions, the especially the uh, the thing that we're going to work on. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. The. That's. That's You're in a lot of stuff, blues tunes. right? So and what's going important. on there is we're on what chord here, right? Right, G. G. Mm -hmm. And when it goes when it goes to the F in the bass, you know what chord that's implying? Mm. Play a G chord. Okay. And, and a lot of times you'll have an F in this chord on the first string, on the first string. Oh right. Oh, it's what a is G7. it? G seven. G seven. So when you put an F into a G chord, it's G seven. So okay. this just becomes a G7 chord, mm -hmm. but we're playing F in the bass. Okay. Okay. And the next chord you went to. Mm, uh, let's see. What does that look like? Uh, a minor seven. Yeah, oh, except well, for one thing. Oh, or a C with a add. Mm, well, what, what did you play in the bass uh, on that C chord? Uh, let's see. I don't know. What note is that? On the on the fourth string. On the fourth string. Second fret. D E. 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 <laughs> Yeah. So it's just a C, but we're playing E as the bass note. Right. Okay. So that's what happened. This G went to G7, and G7 mm -hmm. occurs in the key of C. It's the dominant. Mm -hmm. It's chord five in the key of C. Okay. It's not in the key of G because F okay. is not in G. Okay. And that's why it's it's it's, a, it's acting as a secondary dominant to get us to C. It's acting okay. as chord five of C. Okay. Does that make sense? A little bit. I know yeah, it's early in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you but, know how I am with yeah. these numbers. But, but, but anyway, yeah. so so that's a. But, but the thing that the cool thing mm -hmm. that we hear there is the bass goes from G mm -hmm. up to F. But we really think of that as descending to F because right. you could have heard this. Right. Yeah. 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 And then it continues right. down. Right. 
So this allows us to but continue we're soon to run out of room. Right. right. So, so, we, so, a, so we, we jumped moved up over and we here to, to, to get to the higher end. Okay. And then start going down chromatically. Yes. And that's where we get to that one in just know, a second. Okay? So but I want to talk about the theory of the progression first of all. Okay. Bit, because mm -hmm. you, you hear this in so many songs. similarity, mm -hmm. right? I do. Yes. Yeah. You know. So Okay. Anyway, so this G, this this um, this little blues, it's almost a turnaround because mm -hmm. it usually happens at, at mm -hmm. the end, but it's not the very end because right. there's always something that follows it to mm -hmm. to tie it up. Yes. And like in that one There's a little Here's the, yeah. the like tag. Finally comes back home mm -hmm. to see. Mm -hmm. So what was happening here? We've got the, the G7 with F in the bass. Mm -hmm. The bass descends a half step to, to, C, to E for the C chord, mm -hmm. and then it has to go down another half step. The next bass note has to be mm -hmm. E flat. Right. And this shape. Oh, that's familiar. That? I do.